welcome to the American Rambler with your host Paul Grafton here on YouTube. Okay, today we got a TikTok and OnlyFans star, a digital uh, prawn star, uh, uh, was arrested after the neighbor said he found her four-year-old child alone outside. Now, the uh, name of this digital uh, Prawn star is Marissa Cloutier. She is known as Digital Prince XSS and was charged with neglect of a child in Lee County, Florida. Okay, the influencer who also uses OnlyFans has 2.2 million followers on TikTok. Don't you love how we reward bad behavior? Okay. Marissa Claudia, uh, well, we said that, was arrested on August 25th in Fort Myers, Florida, on charge of neglect of a child, according to the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Neighbor contacted the police after he said he found Cloutier's four-year-old son wandering around outside, according to the court documents uh, obtained by Insider, and she was released uh, from custody. It's nice to have that pink pass, isn't it? Okay. The 24-year-old TikTok star mainly dances, models, and vlogs and videos for her over 2.2 million fans. She also posts daily on an OnlyFans account and posts uh, prime content with millions of viewers on Prawn Hub. Legally, I'm only allowed to say so much regarding it, and I know there's a lot of things being posted online that are out of context and very much untrue, so please do not believe everything you read on the internet. Uh, and Cloutier has since delighted uh, her TikTok on Friday, and the video has been reposted and shared online. Okay, should we believe her? Should we believe others? You know, the police, the last thing they want to do is arrest a female. So I'm more inclined to go with the police these days on this one. Claudia pleaded not guilty to the charge and expected to appear in court on September 27th, according to court records. Claudia told police who reported to her home that she left the house to buy detergent to clean her child's bed sheets and not, had not been gone long, according to the police probable cause statement reviewed by Insider. Um, uh, I don't think so. And don't we have something called Instacart? And if you got 2.2 million fans, you certainly can afford to spend $10 on delivery for detergent. Okay. She was holding a half empty bottle Thai detergent and Claudier did not have a receipt of the purchase, the statement said. Yeah, right. Upon further questioning by two police officers and hearing her Miranda rights read, Claudia ch changed aspects of her story, of course, police said in a probable cause statement. Claudia said she put her child to bed at 9 p.m and went to go meet with a friend who lives 11 miles away. Okay, so then she really didn't just go to the store. She told officers that she made a mistake and that her anxiety made her lie, the report said. Your anxiety, no, your poor parent parenting made you lie. You know, according to the report, Chloe's mother arrived to take custody of the child. Good. But I still have a problem with this. If you raise a child to be a prawn star, what are you going to do to that poor little boy? You know, you failed with one child, should you get a second chance at another child? According to the report, Claudia's mother arrived to take custody of the child. She told officers that the influencer had moved to Florida from Colorado less than a month ago. It was not immediately clear whether Claudia had regained custody 
of the child ahead of her trial. The area where Claudia and her child reside is surrounded by bodies of water, wildlife, and vehicle traffic, as well as other potentially dangerous hazards for an unsupervised child, the report said. Yeah, they have something there called gators, and a four-year-old child is a nice, tasty little piece of meat. On Friday news, Claudia's arrest started to spread throughout social media. TikTok videos and Twitter threads featuring her mugshot pulled in hundreds of, of likes and comments. And only finance model, Hawk Hates You, who asked not to share her name publicly for privacy concern, has since announced that she would no longer collaborate with Claudia on a planned project in September. Good. Claudia has made her TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram accounts private. She and her attorney did not return requests for comments. So, what do you think? Should she get her child back? Uh, should the child be in the presence of someone that raised uh, somebody to be a prawn star? Answer in the comments below.